What's up guys, I've got some beef with clan games. This is one of the main problems right here. And if you don't see it, I'll tell you in just a minute because I have to collect this clan castle loot, our star bonus is available, and this storage is full. So the thing with clan games is they updated it not too long ago and they removed the big tasks. And by those, I mean use a super troop and you get 1,500 points, which was major. I think they still do show up a little bit, but very rarely. And the thing I hate most is now I'm stuck with quests that are worth 150 points. Now I know what Supercell's doing. This is a very long event. It's a six day event. You're not supposed to bang it out in 30 minutes. But I would say for a lot of players, 30 minutes is sometimes all we have. And when we're using that 30 minutes for war attacks, how are we gonna do our clan games? Obviously you can just do one task and claim the whole rewards from your clan doing the rest, but that's really selfish. And honestly, I think a lot of us could agree that we don't really enjoy doing 45 quests for 150 points each for like two hours. So what's something they could do to fix this, but not make it a 30 minute event? I think one thing they could do is add larger rewarded quests, but for longer periods of time. For example, earning eight war stars for your clan or completing the daily bonus three days in a row. And it also seems like one of the main things about clan games is they want you to be engaged with builder base because we all know builder base is the fastest way to get missions done quickly and efficiently. Personally, I do not mind the builder base. Sometimes I enjoy it even more than the home village, but I know there are some people out there that just despise builder base so much that they won't even take advantage of the clan games for it, which is kind of how I feel about clan capital. But uh, that's a different story. I think keeping the builder base quest is a perfectly fine idea for those people that want to knock out clan games in an hour or two but like i said i would really enjoy seeing a quest for like 3,000 points if i just complete the daily bonus three days in a row or something like that the second problem i see with clan games is it is much easier for a player at town hall 15 to complete the games rather than somebody at town hall 7 and the reason for that is you're just able to do more quests and maybe that's what they want. Maybe that's part of the way they planned it. But it also goes the same way with Builder Base. If you don't play Builder Base, then you won't get those quests done for destroy three lava launchers for 600 points, which is a big quest now. And I know majority of my audience is probably between like Town Hall 11 and 15 or something like that, but I'm kind of speaking up for the players that are under Town Hall 10 because there is a very large community of those players still. There are full clans of those players and they're getting quests for Town Hall 15s and 16s and it's just completely unfair because that means you have to rinse and repeat your gems. You guys know what I'm talking about. Gem those quests until you find something worth your time doing or something even slightly enjoyable. And obviously this is a clan event, which is why, you know, even though I'm a Town Hall 7, I'm getting quests for people that are Town Hall 12 plus. But if my clan only has up to Town Hall 10 players, they need to balance it in a way that my clan is only getting missions for Town Hall 10 and below. One thing I think would be a great improvement to clan games is kind of like clan capital how we all contribute to a upgrade maybe for clan games they put a task that two three maybe five people can all work together to complete for a larger reward than something that you would have just got done by yourself for example instead of getting a hundred percent destruction in a multiplayer battle maybe get one thousand percent destruction between four players and that'll give you like 1200 points or something. Maybe give it its own name too, like a super task or something. Make it purple so it stands out in the clan games. But I really don't see how this could be a bad idea. Sometimes you're just hanging out on the game with your clan, talking it up in chat, and then you guys have to go off and do individual quests. That sucks. I wanna be able to work together on tasks. It would bring the clan more together. I would be able to yell at my clan leader for only destroying 75% out of 250, where I'm already at 250 out of 250. He's holding me up. I wanna do more tasks. Or maybe would be a good idea to be able to do a clan task as well as an individual task at the same time and i think this would really solve one of the most controversial things about clan games which is clan games isn't really about the clan it's about people individually doing tasks i know that's one of the major complaints about clan games and it has been since the release of them that's kind of my rant about clan games though if you guys have any opinions on that please let me know in the comments i'd love to hear them and for now i uh, have to go destroy one multi-mortar so i will be right back well finish that one pretty quickly uh what next what is this 120 buildings builder battle uh -uh. see this is the thing why do i have a town hall six quest well guys this is the best find of today one million of each and eleven thousand dark do you guys ever farm dark because i literally never farm dark elixir unless i need like three thousand dark elixir i'll make sure to hit a base for like three thousand dark elixir or more i don't know maybe it's just because i hate putting my heroes down i always book them like my queen She's level 72. I got her from 65 to 72 with only books and hammers. I haven't put her down once since Town Hall 13. Obviously, I can't do that with all of them, but I usually try to keep my warden and queen up as much as possible. The royal champion and king, yeah, they go down. But even with all these hero upgrades, I only upgrade my heroes when I have the dark elixir, and I never farm the dark elixir. 
I just happen to have it. And I'm like, okay, let's put a hero down. I mean, sometimes I want to put a hero down and I don't have the Dark Elixir because I just spent 200,000 Dark Elixir upgrading a Lava Hound or something. But even then, I usually have a Dark Elixir rune on hand at all times or I just go with a different upgrade. Also, guys, this is kind of off topic, but I got my Wisdom Teeth out yesterday. So I thought it was going to be a little difficult for me to talk. But honestly, I think I'm doing pretty good. So if I sound a little weird or a little unenthusiastic sometimes, that is the reason. And this is a little life hack for anybody that hasn't got their wisdom teeth out, uh, even though I think a lot of you guys are older. Um, drink pineapple juice and eat pineapple the day before your surgery. That's what I did, and my mouth is not swollen at all. Okay, maybe a little bit, but barely at all. Man, I am so happy I did not blow up like a hot air balloon. But guys, these diamond bases got nothing on me, especially not when I'm using hybrid. Did you see the way we crushed this one? And we're gonna overkill it. That's amazing, got all that tasty, tasty loot, and our storages are full, so we gotta do something about that so that I can complete clan games um without overflowing my loot because i don't need to i have three builders available Ooh, what should we upgrade guys um i didn't plan this at all so kind of going right off the bat what the heck these are elixir now why did they change it this used to be a gold upgrade do you guys like that also how many clan war league medals do i have 122 okay let's just buy a hammer of fighting because i know i'm gonna use it so i've studied my base a little bit and here's what i'm thinking we got two scatter shots and I think we're going to put them down. As for the third and final upgrade, I'm pretty sure we got to go with the workshop because the log launcher, pretty clutch. And what do we have for ores? Um, okay, we got a pretty decent amount. Let's go with invisibility vial. Get this up a couple levels. Guys, every couple days, I just kind of like check in on here, see how many ores I got. And if I feel like doing an upgrade, I will. I always try to get it recorded for you guys, though, so you're not missing out. Now, let's get these scatter shots upgraded because I want to go finish clan games. Get this one 9.6. Collect this gold. And, uh right back down to the other one another 9.6 i don't know why the button was orange now because i got so much elixir and i still got some farming to do we're gonna get a bunch of walls done okay that's four walls knocked out and we have a rune of gold in the gold pass which ends in two days so we need to collect that and since i got myself real low on gold right now i'm just gonna pop it and dump it into walls now if this game would just let me select all nope wrong row why is it always the wrong row bummer i guess we'll just have to do it one by one that's two and uh three and four and five and we got more gold for this side so we'll just go ahead and boom now we can collect that rune so it doesn't go to waste it's been a little bit it took me exactly one hour and 17 minutes to complete clan games so what do we get rewarded for that time oh a book of fighting nice 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 that leaves just a couple final touches before we can wrap things up today starting with a the wall breakers we're gemming them i'm not waiting eight hours now i am positive that these miners are the best use for my hammer of fighting so we're gonna do that and real quick before we get going with our last upgrade just drop a little bit of loot so we have completely empty storages and boom that's the final touch for today just kidding i lied i forgot to get an upgrade going in the lab we definitely gotta go with the dark elixir um the most expensive would be the little midget warden dude but he's boring so who else do we have uh, how about bowlers? Why not? Only a 5 day, 14 hour upgrade. That is not too bad at all. And guys, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments about the clan games thing. And, uh, check out one of these videos if you guys want to watch more. Peace!